Now, I think we can all agree that webcam control panels are a real hassle. And I mean, going in and out of them to make changes, it interrupts the flow. If you're in the middle of a live stream, the last thing you want to do is say, oh, my camera doesn't look so great. I want to drop out here and adjust the exposure. That's really not a great thing to do. Well, today I'm going to show you how to set that up on the stream deck so you don't have to worry about those control panels anymore. Now, some of the manufacturers have tried to help us out with this problem, right? So you got the Elgato face cam. Of course, they've got a native plugin for it. Does a great job. If you have one of those, you're all set. And other manufacturers have created some hotkeys within their control panels. Sure, we can go into the stream deck and we can set up hotkeys. I've shown you how to do that in other videos so that it always selects the right program. But the thing is, that's not optimal either. I've got a better way to do this. And to install a plugin, all we do is go ahead into the plugin store, choose plugins, and we're going to go into the search box and type cam. And we see cam control by Bar Raider, one of our favorite plugin creators here. We'll go ahead and click install. Now that we've done that, if you go down to the bottom, you'll see cam control Bar Raider is there. And you see there's really only two options here. And what's really cool about this is the webcam settings. Think of this as a permanent adjustment versus webcam PTT as a temporary adjustment. So what I'll do is I'll bring up another window with a webcam in the corner and I'll go through a few of the settings. Okay, and so what I've done is I've added up the uh, webcam window here in the top left corner with the blue border, just so we can see the adjustments. And what I'm gonna do first is I'll just bring over webcam settings into uh, one of the keys on the stream deck. And again, these are the ones that are the permanent option. So I'm gonna call this first one here, zoom in. And uh, we'll just simply go ahead and go down to the webcam. You need to choose your webcam here. For me, it's got kind of this odd number, but uh, depending on which webcam you have, it's gonna look different. And then what I'm gonna do is under select property, you'll see there's a lot of different ones here, uh, but we'll go into zoom for this example. And we have some options. We have automatic default, manual set and manual adjust. Now, because this is zoom in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go manual set. And what we can do here is set this up as a specific amount. So let's just say I want this to uh, zoom in here to 150. And uh, I'll just, that now is working. If I press it, you'll see what happens in the corner. It now zoomed into 150. The problem is now I have 150 and I can change back. So what I would do in this case is I would add up another one of these uh, buttons underneath. The same thing here, this one's going to be called Zoom D because for me, I'm gonna set this up as default. And we'll go ahead into the uh, same uh, webcam here. And then once again, I'm gonna choose the property of Zoom and I'm gonna select default. And what that's going to do is when I press it, you'll see that it's gone back to the default amount of, uh, of, of vision showing, of, uh, of space showing on that uh, webcam. So that lets me go back and forth. Now again, that's great. I can press the top button and go to 150 zoom in. I can press the bottom one and go back. And if I wanna zoom in or out for a long period of time, that's a great way to do it. There are other things we could do here too. I can go back to the zoom in and instead of having this on manual set, I can go manual adjust. And what's really cool about this is it lets me set increments that I can add. So because this is in, let's just say I wanna zoom in in increments of 10 and I'll go to the one underneath it and I'll now change this one to manual adjust. And this one, I'll leave it minus 10. And when I press the top button, you'll see each time I press it, it zooms in. And now when I press the bottom button, each time I press it, it zooms out. And so this again is really handy to be able to make adjustments to you know different fields of view for zoom. But of course we can do the same thing for all of the features here, whether it's brightness, you know, gamma, contrast, exposure, uh, low light, there's basically anything that our camera supports we can adjust in here. So that's a really cool thing here in terms of adjust up and down. Now, a lot of times if you're using this on a live stream, you just may want to punch in and punch out quickly. And so to do that, we don't need to have multiple button presses. We can use the temporary adjustment feature. So to do that, I'm just going to pull up the webcam PTT in here. I'll just put it next to these zoom buttons. And this one here is going to be uh, a zoom. And I'm just going to put a P for punch going to punch in and out. And again, I'll choose my webcam in here that we're going to use. And once again, I'm going to choose zoom. And here it's set at 150. And what will happen if you watch the top left corner as I push it, when I press it and hold it in, it stays zoomed in. When I let go of the button, it zooms out. So you can see as I go back and forth, 
I can have it zoomed in and out. So very handy if you want to be able to, again, punch in for a feature on stream or something like that. Now that's just doing it instantly. We can also add a delay to this if we want. If I add a, a 50, uh, 50 millisecond delay here for fading in and a 50 millisecond delay for fading out, now watch what happens. When I press it, it gradually comes in. When I let it go, it gradually goes out. So it gives the impression of zooming in or out. I'll change this to a larger uh, figure here. We'll go to 200 and I want you to be able to see what happens when you have a longer delay because it, it'll, it'll emphasize what we're doing here. So let's go ahead now. I'll push the zoom in out and you'll see it kind of brings it in and out. It, it, it zooms gradually. And so depending on the effect you want to get, that might be a, might be a cool thing to do. But that's one of the advantages of the temporary features here. You can do, of course, a lot of other things. I'll drag another temporary button up here. I won't name this one this time. We'll just again go simply into the device here. Let's create all of a sudden a lot of brightness. And so I'm going to do that. And then simply here, the value, we're going to leave it at 150. We'll see what that does. And you see that it just highlights that brightness up. This is again useful if you want to really highlight something. I'm going to crank it all the way up to about 250 here. We'll do it again. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and drag some permanent settings back up here and we'll uh, just do an adjustment. I'm going to drag two of them up just so we can uh, get an idea of up and down adjustments here. And so this one, the first one I'm going to choose expose uh, for exposure and I'll put a plus beside it. And the one underneath I'm going to name expose and we'll put a minus beside it. So then going again, we just need to do our basic setup. We need to choose the webcam. We need to choose the property here, which is going to be exposure. And in this case, I'm going to do a manual adjustment again because I want to add to this. And we'll just go ahead and make that five. And I want it to be add, so it's going to be a five. Then I'll go to the bottom one here. Same thing, choose the webcam that I'm using and select exposure. And then again, I'll go here to manual adjust. This time we want to put minus five in here because we want to negate what we were doing before. And so now when I press the top button, you see that it's increased the exposure and when I push the bottom button, it decreases the exposure. So again, handy to have the ability to adjust these, these sorts of things. And we can also go ahead, I'll add one more of these in and we're just going to call this one expose a, and that's because, you know, sometimes we want to be able to use auto exposure. And so it's simply a matter of going exposure and underneath we'll leave that on automatic. And when I press that, it's going to reset to the automatic mode. So now I have full exposure control here on the Stream Deck. Now, if we get a little creative, we can actually use these controls to create some interesting effects. So let's check out an in and out black and white effect. Okay, so to create the black and white temporary effect, I'm again gonna drag a temp button up here. So webcam PTT, I'll just put it right off to the side. And in order to do this, first of all, I'm just gonna give it a title. I'm gonna call it BW for black and white. And then I'm gonna go and choose my webcam and simply go into the properties and this time I'm going to choose saturation because saturation is the amount of color. Now, if I go ahead and turn the value down to zero, as I press that button and hold it, you'll see everything turns black and white. I let go of it and the colors are back. So I've got black and white, I've got color. Again, this can be an interesting effect to create. And if you want to make things even easier with these punch in and out controls, download the Clarity RGB animated icons from Nerd or Die. I've got the link below. This way you can see them in the middle of all the other buttons on your Stream Deck. Plus, Nerd or Die has just dropped their spring streamer sale with up to 40% off. I've got a link below for that as well. Now, the one thing is, once you start making a lot of adjustments to the webcam, it's easy to forget where things are at. You know, how much brightness have I added? How much have I zoomed in? Fortunately, this plugin from Bar Raider has you covered there too. So let's check that out. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to recreate my zoom in and out button. So I'll just go ahead and delete both of those. And let's uh, start again. So again, these will be permanent settings in this case. I'm going to drag the webcam settings up here where I started. And I'll put one below as well. And so to do this, I'm not going to add a title and that's key here. So we'll go ahead and do webcam. I'll choose the webcam and I'm gonna choose the property again of zoom. But this time I'm gonna go show the value on the key. And uh, I, can, I can make whatever you want. You'll see it already says 100, that's the zoom level. But I can add zoom in there as a prefix. And you'll see what that now does is it shows it. If it's a little too big, you can just go ahead and make it uh, just one letter or so. And then uh, again, what we can do here is go ahead and this is going to be a manual set. So what I'll do is I'll change this one out here to be 150. It can stay there. 
And then the one below here again, I can go ahead and do that as well. I can go zoom and I can put zoom. Now, I don't necessarily have to show it on this one again. I can, if I choose this value here, it'll put it in but we really don't need it because what happens here, I have this one set to go to default. That'll take me back to the 100. And so I'm gonna actually give that one a title here. We'll still call it Zoom D for default. So what happens when I push the top button now, we get 150 and you see that the readout has changed to 150. So we have that there. When I push the default below, it resets the value on the button above. So you really only need to have the value showing once, but you can take advantage of that to see where you're actually at. And this is really useful, again, if you have multiple adjustments on the go and you just wanna see where things are at so you can either make sure they're at the default for certain, you know, certain scenes, certain times during your stream, or you can make sure that they're zoomed in when you want them zoomed in to the right amount without having to constantly check the look in the, uh, in the actual preview screen for your camera. And so this makes it really easy to add some cool effects or make some adjustments without having to open up the control panel for your webcam. And I mean, if you're on stream and something doesn't look quite right, this is an easy way to make those changes again without interrupting really what you're doing and breaking the flow. So if you wanna know more about the stream deck or audio or video for your stream or production, check out one of the other videos on the screen. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.